Welcome to Siemens S7 1200 Tutorials. My name is Syed Reza, and in this lesson, we're going to learn instructions which can be used in PLC programming. We'll start with common basic operations for both ladder and function block languages. After that, some basic logics are told and finally, we'll test the X or logic with PLC. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. If you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, let's start this lesson. If you remember, we did the right industrial circuit, with this PLC wiring and ladder program. Here we used these ladder instructions. These three instructions with open and close branch, are frequently used in ladder programming. A complete of all instruction are listed here, in the instructions tab. If you frequently use another instruction, that can be inserted or removed like this. Also, if you hold the mouse on an instruction, like this, below that, its name will be appear. And if you wait more, a briefly comment will be shown. And if click here, the help window will show a complete explanation of selected instruction. Now, let's start with these three instruction, which we've used them before. Now, see this PLC wiring and ladder program. As you know, ladder programs are similar to industrial circuits, and we can suppose, here is a power line, but virtual and in CPU's program. It's not real. Now see the first line. The power can reach to here, now. The question is, how can we change the state of this contact in a PLC program? In real, we press push buttons or switches. In PLC programs, each contact has an address, which have two state, 0 and 1, or true and false. This binary address is I0.0, .0 which refer to this PLC input. In this wiring, the 24 volt DC cannot reach to this address. So, the state of I0.0 .0 address is false or zero. And this contact will be in its normally open state. If we press push button, the 24 volt DC reach to I0.0. .0. Then the state of this contact with I0.0 .0 address, change to one or true. So its normally state, which is open, change to close. Now, the virtual power can reach to this coil, with Q0.0 .0 address. This address refer to the first PLC output. So the PLC change its state and let the 24 volt DC, turn on H1 lamp. Briefly, reaching a 24 volt DC to our digital inputs, is such as pressing push buttons in real. Let me show normally state of first line, which the virtual power just reached to this contact and its output will be off. Now, see the second line. The virtual power can easily reach to this normally close contact with I0.2 address. As you see, the 24 volt DC cannot reach to this PLC input, until the S2 push button is pressed. So the normally close contact remain close, and virtual power can reach to output, which turn the second output on. If the S2 push button is pressed, the second output will be off. Next line, virtual power can reach to normally open contact. But pay attention to PLC wiring. 
In this case, a normally close push button is used. So the real 24 volt DC can reach to PLC input. So it changed the state of I0.5, from false to true. So this normally open contact switch to close, and will let virtual power pass and reach to output. The last line is similar to second line. But pay attention, a normally close push button is used for last PLC input. So the 24 volt DC reach to PLC input and change the last contact state to open. So until we don't press S4, the output will be off, like first line case. Also, although second and third line are different, but their performance are like together. Because of different push buttons which are used in PLC wiring. Now, let's see this project which we've done before. Because all used push button were normally open, the latter program is similar to industrial control circuit. According previous slide, if a normally close push button is used in PLC wiring, instead of a normally open, we must change its related contacts, to avoid changing in PLC performance. Ok, we've seen how we can change normally open or close contacts state. Now, we're going to learn this new instruction. Invert RLO. RLO is a short form of, result of logic operation. Let's test this program, to understand what this instruction is. Well, I'm going to write this program. Now, I click here to simulate this program. It seems, we have an error in our program. I close this window. Let's see here. This my error. The invert RLO or not instruction, cannot connect directly, to power line. So I'm going to insert a normally close contact before this instruction. These two contacts are normally close and virtual power will pass trough them. Now I click here to compile program again. Ok, there isn't any error or warning. So, I download it to my PLC. Now. Let me active this glasses to see my program in CPU. In latter language, RLO is our virtual power, which not instruction, invert that. As you see, in the first line, the virtual power has reached to not instruction. So after that, we don't have it and the output will be off. In the second line, the virtual power has not reached to not instruction, so after that, we have virtual power again and this output will be on. Pay attention, as you see, if we change instruction sequence in latter language, it could change final result too. Alright. Like previous videos, I can test this program with my PLC.
because I have closed the virtual PLC, when I click on download to device, Tia needs to search connected devices, to make a new connection. If you click here, LEDs which are on the selected PLC start flashing. This ability help us to detect the selected PLC, when we have more than one PLC. Let's load the program. Now, I can check the PLC program performance. As you know, I can change the digital input address, with the connected switch. And also change the memory address, with right click on that and select modify. As you see, when I change the connected switch, both PLC outputs are changed too. Well, we've learned some basic operations. In next video, we'll see how basic operations can be combined to have basic logics in ladder language. Also we'll see basic logic instructions in function block. After that the XOR logic will be written as an exercise. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.